Good day, Shave Crowd. Ray Handlebarber Dave here. And uh, doing another shave video today because it's very rare that I shave with a DE razor. Um, but after the debacle of the Dyson vacuum cleaner brush stunt save yesterday, uh, as my face is as raw as it can be, uh, so we're going to try to be mild with it. Now, of course, in my journal, you will see that uh, my wife indicated that, uh, why don't I skip a shave? I said, do you know me? She flipped me off and called me a maroon. So anyways, so what we're going to be shaving with today is we're going to be shaving with L'Occitane. Uh, this puck I've had for probably six years and it doesn't show any signs of getting any smaller. A Gillette Flare Tip Super Speed with an Astra SP. A Thader brush that has been soaking. Uh, silver tip. And uh, for the aftershave, I'll be using um, DR Harris Arlington. And for the EDT, La Ossetan. Uh, Cedrat, which is a kind of a lemon limey uh, flavor. Uh, the weather here has been really good uh, today, anyways. It's supposed to be in the mid 70s, and then we're supposed to be approaching the 80s uh, by the uh, the end of next week, which is nice. But it also means that uh, the triple digit surface of the sun temperatures for the next couple of months are on the way. So, anyways, let's get the shave started. I am doing a cold water shave today, um, for obvious reasons. Uh, as I said, the brush has been soaking for quite a while. Um, the last, the the shave puck, or the, the UFO as all of us call it, is actually a very, very nice soap. It does take a little bit to get started. It starts kind of foamy, uh, and then it will... Uh, it will start to, to go in. Now what I do, because uh, I know a lot of people are talking about how to get their lather better, uh, basically I pre-soak the brush, pre-soak the puck, do some swirls with the tips, and then I'll actually jam the brush in there and do some uh, turns to get the soap deep, deep inside the, uh, uh, inside the brush, and then just keep whipping it up. And then I'll add water once I have it uh, on, on the face. This lather has a tendency to be a little bit on the thinner side uh, for the most part, but its uh, slickness is uh, very, very nice. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, TSC uh, first anniversary. Uh, once again, we appreciate you guys being there. We hope you guys liked uh, the new news ticker. Uh, more than likely, we are probably going to use it for special events and for maybe a weekly recap. We're still, uh, Chad, Chris, and I are still discussing that. Uh, most people have liked it. We've had a few people that cause it distracting. And for those of you that are um, big fans of uh, Louis Black, a comedian, uh, he has an entire shtick on the news tickers. So we're still discussing that and we'll, uh, if you see it disappear, you'll know what happened uh, for a little bit. Um, as you can see, I am a lather flinger. Uh, I think that's the best way to get lather anyway. Um, so the anniversary went well. Um, we're all very, very happy. Um, we're glad that all the members uh, enjoyed it as well. Okay, I think we're about ready. It's been a while um, since I actually shaved with a DE, to be honest with you. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. The super speed. It was a very, very mild razor, hence the reason why I chose it. And it allows you to blast through a blast through a shave pretty quickly.
Okay, pass one's done. We'll do a little quick rinse. Set up for pass number two. Now, one thing some of you may have noticed in all the years you've known me is that my uh, my lathers get progressively thinner as the passes go through uh, because obviously I want to get a little bit closer because once again, we're not removing whiskers. We're just um, reducing whiskers. And this soap is just fantastic uh, to do that. Okay, pass number two. I guess the muscle memory is doing pretty good because it's been quite a while since I've shaved with a DE. At least nine months because I think I, I started shaving with a DE when uh, I started barber school because I was worried about the time. Pass two done. Because I was worried about the time. And, uh, but then I found that I was able to incorporate a uh, straight shave, so I went back to it. So I think it's been about nine months or so. I'd have to go back through my journals, I can't remember. Usually with my third pass, I will uh, add a little bit of water just to make that last plast as uh, slick as possible. And usually by doing that, I'm able to uh, uh, do my cleanup with water only. Okay, third pass. Okay, that's it. Um, pretty much, yeah, I would call this BBS. Uh, not quite as close, obviously, as a uh, uh, straight. So I'll finish this up with my Lucky Tiger aftershave balm. I did not use this yesterday because of the scouring of my face. Yeah, and it... Uh, Still lighting me up pretty good, but not that bad. The thing I like about this stuff is that uh, once it emulsifies, it really softens the skin. You get a nice uh, hit of menthol and uh, mint, and it really cools everything down before you put on the aftershave splash. Then I'll do a light uh, cold water rinse.
And then the uh, DR Havis Arlington Aftershave, which is one of my favorites. And that's pretty much it. We'll be back for some final comments right after this. Okay, folks, some final thoughts. Um, DE shaving, you know, even though I don't do it very much enough, and it's still fun. It's quick, it's fast, and uh, it's wonderful. So we're going to finish up today's shave. I already put the aftershave on, obviously. Um, we're going to finish up with Menon uh, Talc. This is vintage. And then an old Crabtree and Evelyn um, boar brush that I don't use anymore. So I'm not sorry, uh, silver tip brush that I don't use anymore. And it works real well as a, a facial brush. And this is, I love this neutral tint. Uh, Panade makes a neutral tint powder as well. But this stuff just smells like a barbershop. Uh, it's fantastic stuff. Um, my uh, Christmas buddy is the one who sent it to me, so thank you very much. I thought it, actually, I take that back. Chris sent this to me. Um, Chris knew I loved vintage things and I didn't know that there was actually uh, powder in it. So, and I've used it. I don't know if I should, um, but it's still good. So anyhow, thank you, Chris, for that and that brush. And then we're going to finish off with the Sidrat. Um, for those of you that know what a Vasili is, and for those of you that don't, Vasili in, in, the, in the spot. So on my wrist, both wrists, neck, elbows legs and then temple temple neck neck and that's it well, once again thank you to the members of the shave cadre we certainly do appreciate it and that is my de shave for march 16th 2019 take care have a great weekend